Hello, my dear Lorenita, welcome. How is it going, my dear? Buenas noches. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? We are. I'm very happy. We are finishing today our model number three. So I'm very happy for you. I want to, to chat with you. Yes, please. Please, go ahead. I have, a, I, I have an idea. Maybe you will be... Mm -hmm. See. In that. I couldn't hear you properly, my dear. No le pude escuchar eso último. I couldn't hear exactly what you said. Could you repeat that? I, I, I think you can be interested in that. Okay. Okay. Maybe you can chat later. You have my phone number. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Great. <laughs> so how was your day? I, it was nice. A little bit busy because... Um, I work, I, I have another um, job, so I have to work from eight to, to five and then come back here. So the traffic is a little bit heavy in the afternoons, but very happy, okay? I'm very happy because I have the chance to, to share with you uh, at night and I like this. So I, I feel like refreshed when I, I, I am in contact with you. You're very happy teacher. <laughs> show me energy and yeah. I'm exciting that is very contagious con thank con you i like to hear that because sometimes we feel like tired but you, we need to yes. overcome the situation and for yeah. the time it's difficult to be with a lot of energy but yeah. you made the class some funny Oh, I like to hear that. I try to do my best, okay? Because I know. I appreciate your time. And I know that it's not easy in this schedule to be like wake up and full of energy. And I know that if you're here, it's because you're doing a big, big, big effort in order to learn. So I do my best in order that you can feel you're really learning and that you really learn, okay? Because that's what we expect from this, from this training. So I encourage you, I don't know if you have received the um, enrollment list uh, or the document, the paperwork to enroll for the I, uh, I downloaded last week because I, I finished the platform last week. Okay. So I did my, my certificate. And also today I asked uh, to Jonathan or mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. who, who write yeah. the administration. Nobody answered, but nobody answered me. Okay. It's uh, okay for me. But, but, but if you already, I, what I think is that they are like uh, looking for people who finish the, the platform because once you finish the platform, you can enroll to the new, to the new course. So okay. if you have not sent the, that, the paperwork yet, I recommend you to insist and ask uh, the administration people that you are interested to continue and they are going to request maybe the, um, the paperwork, which is the, the request uh, formulario, and also the documents that, that are required to enclose to the form, to the form right? Okay, I will ask tomorrow. Cause... Yes, if it doesn't happen, you write to me and I can send like a request uh, on behalf, on your behalf, saying that you would like that they can contact you to complete your enrollment process, okay? Okay, okay. In your case, you're more than ready because you finished even the exam, okay? Okay. Excellent. Carlita, welcome. How are you today, my dear? No. Hi, fine. Okay. Good night. Good evening. Welcome. I'm very happy uh, because you finished today your uh, section, uh, I mean your model number three, so it means that you're going to uh, advance to a higher level. So what I want you to do is to encourage, uh, what I want to encourage you to continue, to keep uh, the good work because you have a very good level. So um, what I recommend you is to uh, by yourself continue in this week. Maybe if you wait like one week to start the next course because we don't have yet the exact date to start, you can continue like reviewing the materials. 
Uh, for example, the verbs is a great issue that you need to continue looking for and practicing and listening and repeating. So I recommend you to do that, okay? Um, in your case, Carlita, I would like to know how is the platform. Eh, Carlita, me gustaría saber eh, cómo le está yendo con la plataforma. Um, más o menos. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, some difficulties with ex exercises? Tenemos dificultades con los ejercicios. Um, sí, ahorita. Um, en módulo 4, um, en la de las preguntas, hay un espacio donde hay que como ordenar la pregunta. Ok. Eh, podemos hacer algo. Usted me puede mandar la imagen y yo le puedo guiar un poco, ¿verdad? Para que lo logre completar. Ok. Si le parece, ¿verdad? Para poderle apoyar y que usted termine a la brevedad posible porque no eh, tenemos, digamos, hasta el viernes para poder completar sí, la sí, plataforma. Sí. Eh, yo creo que ellos les mandaron como un aviso. Sí, Entonces, ahora. Ok. Entonces yo me estoy poniendo a su disposición para que los ejercicios que tenga problemas, usted me escribe y yo le asisto para que pueda avanzar, ¿verdad? Para que pueda terminar. Ok. Entonces eh. me escribe, Carlita, con mucho gusto. Okay, uh, so we are going to continue and I would like to share the screen of the materials, I mean, of what we are going to study today. So we are going to cover the FINE 13 lesson objective. And it says by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for specific information and sequencing events, okay? So uh, in this, you have a video about, uh, I mean, uh, an article about Ricky Martin, right? So um, in this, uh, basically you learn about uh, his life, his story about uh, how he started to sing and et cetera. And basically later they ask you for details, okay? So uh, in the 5.5, basically it says, when Ricky Marty was born. So if you, if you see, we're using the past, when Ricky Marty was born. So when you use when, you know that you're asking for a date, right? Okay, so you have uh, to look for the choice of a date, in this case, on December 24th, 1971. Uh, where was Ricky Martin born? When you see where, you know that automatically they are asking about a place, right? So if you read, in the San place Juan, in San Juan, Puerto Rico, excellent. And how old is Ricky, uh, was Ricky Martin when he joined to the Latin boy band Menudo? So you have here, here in the option, old. he was 12 years old. old. And finally, why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City, okay? Uh, because he was frustrated. You know that when they ask you why, it's because they are asking for a reason, okay? So they say because he was frustrated. So they are giving an explanation. Okay, so let me advance here. And there we go to the exam, to the final exam. I'm going to explain the final exam, but before we go there, I would like to stop sharing and I would like just to complete the um, the work we uh, started last night about the school years because I'm very interested that you can speak and that you can practice using the past tense okay so just let me go back to the presentation and the questions that we couldn't answer last night and uh, finished that part of the class and later we will come back to okay so let me i'm sorry <laughs> don't worry <laughs> don't worry okay so let me just share the presentation that i have for you okay last night we talked about school and at the end we uh, asked some questions and later we write a short paragraph about something important 
that happened to us or something funny that happened to us in school. So I would like to ask you individually, um, for example, Lorenita, uh, what was your favorite subject in school? Ooh, um, my favorite subject in school was science. Okay. And why did you like science? Because I draw a lot of pictures about um, molecular, cellular, and something like that. And I really like to, to paint it. Mm. Have a, a very clean book. Not oh. book. Okay. <laughs> okay. And did you continue studying science after school? No. Nothing, okay. Nothing at all. Okay. <laughs> okay, but it's good. You like that and you enjoy doing that. Excellent. I like, um, I like paint, um, coloring, something like that. Okay. But I don't study, but I don't, I don't study that the stuff in the, at the university. Okay. Okay, very good. So it means that you enjoy uh, like the art that and doing art with that content. Okay, That's excellent. Good. And who was your best friend at school? I have two best friends. Mm -hmm. um, when I was uh, a child? Yeah. A child. A child. A child. Uh, Only one is a child. When I was a child, her name is uh, Carla, okay. Carla Trejo, mm -hmm. and at the school, when we grew up, was Mariana Navarro. Mm. With Carla, I have a um, communication, but with Mariana, no. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens that sometimes we lose uh, communication and it's very sad because we have some good memories from our childhood in school. Okay, we wish that both of them are okay, okay? Uh, so let me ask you, who was your favorite teacher in school? Did you have a favorite teacher? Mm, not that I remember, but uh, there was one person uh, was my English teacher. Mm -hmm. Her name is Claudia. Mm. It was very funny. Uh, I never understand what <laughs> it says, but um, I remember that he, um, she, sorry, she made a lot of activities, uh, and we have to um, make a speech or say a speech, explain about things, for example, the cell phone, mm. or the pool, or whatever she wants. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember about, about the, the teacher, Claudia. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there are some special teachers that we never forget because of a special quality they had. Okay, and when did you finish school, or, or high school, in this case? Ooh. I finished in... Um, and in 2000. Okay. Okay, in 2000. Excellent. Okay. And uh, where was it located your school? Uh, my school was located in San Salvador. I studied at Maria Auxiliadora. Ah, Maria Auxiliadora. Yeah, for girls, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Very good. Good to know that. And, and just to finish, uh, did you, um, what, what, um, not subject in this case, what major did you study at the university? Because you like science, but later you changed. Uh, no, I study marketing. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty different from science. Yes, okay. Uh, yes, but how, yes, totally. But, uh, in marketing, I can um, discover another things, not just sell. Uh, for example, you can create 
a good presentation. You can use a lot of um, resources, materials, tools, tools mm -hmm. uh, each web, and you have to to learn about colors, how to mix them, mm -hmm. how to, uh, like design. Is yes. that like graphic design, something related to graphic design? Yes, uh, yes. it's similar, but it's not the same. But uh, there's a, ¿cómo se dice? Como una rama. It's a branch. It's a branch. Ah, pues, eso. Muy conocida. Yeah, interesting. Very, very interesting, Lorena. Good to know that. Excellent. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yeah, my dear, would you like to share with us uh, what was your favorite subject in school? Carlita? Can you hear? Ah. Sorry. Hi, Carlita. Uh, my favorite subject in school was language. 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 Okay. And why did you like language? Um, because we knew more about the Spanish okay. language. Excellent. Very good. And who was your, your best friend at school? Did you have a best friend? My, my best friend at school was Lorena. Lorena Guardado. Okay. Excellent. And do you still um, have contact with Lorena Guardado? Do you keep yes. communication? Yes. That's good. That's excellent. That's very nice. And who was your favorite teacher in school? Did you have a favorite teacher? Um... Yes, and my favorite teacher was um, um, in in contabil. Mm, okay. um, Accountancy, contabilidad. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Accountancy, okay. Accountancy. Accountancy. Okay. Okay, and did you like accountancy? Did you enjoy the subject? Um, no. Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's numbers. <laughs> if you don't like too much numbers, it's like a little bit boring. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when did you finish high school? I finished high school in... Um, 2001, como sería? 2001? 2001? Or you, or you can say 2001. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And where was located your school? My school was in San Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing, Carlita. Welcome, Aura. Welcome to class. Uh, tonight we are continuing Hi. with the conversation we left pending last night, okay? So we're talking about okay. our school yes. and, and yes. If, you would, if you would like to share some special memories you have about it, okay? So, um, yes. yeah, yeah. what was your favorite subject, uh, my dear Aura? Can you share with us? My, thank you. My favorite subject in the school was social science. Mm, very because, good. Yes, because for the culture of the country, mm. and um, a lot, of, a lot of many, many uh, conocimiento, knowledge, how do you say? No, knowledge, knowledge, and the, the uh, antepasado, how do you say? Of, of your uh, of native people and your ans ans uh, ancient people, right? Your, uh, your cultural heritage, okay. cultural heritage, okay? Sorry? Uh, herencia, Sorry? herencia cultural, cultural heritage. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. 
um, oh. mm -hmm. uh, that 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 uh, for that is my favorite favorite subject. I, I like that. Excellent. Yes. And did you continue studying something related at the university or not? No, I major in marketing. <laughs> ah, like, like Lorena, your colleagues. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. But knowing, you know, that studying culture and cultural heritage of your country is so important because, for example, now that uh, because of the pandemic, we cannot receive people. Uh, what I'm doing in my job is like in showing my country through um, those videos uh, created for tourism. But they are so useful to show people what, uh, what is happening in your country, what is your country, and trying to show the best part of your country. And that's very good. I like to do that. And, okay. and it's a marketing strategy to promote the country, right? Yeah, very good. Yes. Excellent. Okay, and who was your the Right now is... Mm -hmm. No, uh, no, it is only uh, right now uh, for the marketing in, in the in the pandemic is uh, very good because the marketing used to use for the sales mm -hmm. or the uh, other other uh, other necessities. Uh, yes, other needs. We we in this pandemic we yeah, have yes. learned empirically yes. to, to, to do some marketing, right? Because yes. people need to yes. sell their products and we need to move the commerce. And the ones that were not used to do that, we are learning the way we can to do because it's very important. And to, as, as Lorena yes. said, you know, <laughs> some other tools uh, like technology yes. and others. Okay. And oh, for, oh, for mm -hmm. the... the, the um, product of COVID, of, uh, COVID-19, yes, 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 yes. It's important, yeah, that kind of product is very important right now, so people is producing and selling in big quantities and importing also. Okay, yeah. Aura, who was your favorite teacher in school? Did you have a favorite teacher? Yes, for my favorite teacher was uh, Carlos Pineda. Is okay. a teacher, my, my, my mathematics teacher. Okay. Did you like Did you like math? No, I hate the math, but he uh, was he he was a very very teacher. He, he, I thanks thanks to him, mm -hmm. I like the math, but no good in math. Okay, you're not good at math. Eh, no. At, at. Cuando decimos ser bueno en, en este caso usamos at. For example, I can say I, I'm not good at math. Two. At, Tamp ah, okay. okay. Tampoco soy buena en matemáticas también, ¿verdad? Entonces yo digo, I am not good at math. Two. ¿Verdad? En este caso también porque estoy afirmando algo que usted ya dijo. Excelente. Okay. Okay, but it's good that this teacher helped you to um, overcome the situation, even though it was not your favorite subject. And when did you finish school, Aura? I finished school, uh, high school, or oh, high school is, is bachillerato in the university. Uh, high school is bachillerato. University, we have, in English, they define like two levels. College, que es como un técnico. Okay. ¿Verdad? Y luego tenemos okay. eh, university and where, the question should be, is this for, if it's for university, when eh, did you finish your major? Your major es como okay. la carrera, la licenciatura, ¿verdad? O un nivel de bachelor. For example, you, okay. you have a bachelor's degree in marketing. Las dos tienen un bachelor's degree. ¿Verdad? En marketing. Ajá. El okay. título, el título es bachelor. Bachelor's, bachelor's degree. degree in marketing. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ajá. Ok. okay. When, in, in, this, in this case, when did you finish university? 
I finished the university in uh, 2008. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2008. Uh -huh. And uh, I finished uh, high school mm -hmm. in, in 19, in 19, uh, 96. 19? 1996. Okay, 19, eh, same year like me. <laughs> yes, we were yeah, the last, yeah. we were the last, pro the last promotion who uh, didn't do uh, PAES. <laughs> the next year, no. they did. I get it. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's right. Nice. A good I, memory. I, um, um, yeah. great, great, a great way. Yes, graduate. We were the lucky, great. the lucky ones. No, sir, okay. okay. The lucky ones that we didn't okay. do pies. Uh, the coming, uh -huh. they did pies. Uh, okay. Okay. So, where was located your school? Uh, my school was in. Um, in a, a, a ah, like Lorena, in a girl's school, okay? Okay. okay. I think that Tomascas, I don't know if now they go boys and girls, but in the past it used to be only for girls, I remember. Mm. Yes, it's very, very, very good. At this time, I don't know if it's, uh, if they they can admit men and women. I think like you, that just was for women. Yeah, I thought the same, but it was a very good school. Okay, my dears, we are going to stop the conversation here because I have a last exercise for you that I would like that you can do before we go to, uh, to the final exam, okay? Teacher Roberto siempre se salva, no es justo. ¿Verdad? <ríe> es cierto. No vino Robertío hoy, no lo veo. Ahí está. No. Roberto, ya está, hello. Está, ya apagó el micrófono, ya ve. Robertito, <ríe> welcome. <ríe> pero, 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 ajá, Robertito. <ríe> Robertito, we would, like, we would like to know about your school. What was your favorite subject in school? Can you share with us? Eh, um... Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? No hice la tarea. Ah, I didn't complete the homework. <laughs> ok, Robert. ¿Y qué no es esa tarea, Robertío? Ha es sido otra. un día de locos. A este. crazy day. I know, Robert. Don't worry. It's Sorry. Okay. But, but Robertito won't eh, be free of this coming eh, homework. Robertito no se va a salvar del último ejercicio de la clase, ¿verdad? Así que... <laughs> ok, uh, I would like that you can take a picture of this, ok? If you see this, uh, this is a three paragraph uh, document, es un documento de tres párrafos, ¿verdad? And as you may see, this is written in present continuous. Está escrito en el tiempo presente continuo. The present continuous help us to say when something is happening, right? In that very moment, as we speak, it means right now, okay? But the idea is that you can convert, that you can change this paragraph into past, okay? Vamos a cambiar rápidamente este párrafo que está escrito en presente continuo a pasado, ¿verdad? So what we have to do? We have to identify the, the main verbs of each paragraph of each, uh, yes, each uh, uh, complete paragraph and then change into past. For example, this year old school Edinburgh Castle is taking part in the program Let's Save Nature. This program tries to help both animals and plants in our country, beaches and mountains. Voy a trabajarle yo el primero para que ustedes hagan los últimos dos. Cuando estamos utilizando pasado, eh, ¿qué elementos dijimos que cambia? ¿Qué frases utilizábamos? You remember? Last year. Last year, last month, right? Last week. Okay. 
Entonces, este this year lo cambiaríamos por last, last, last year. year, ¿verdad? Last year our school Edinburgh Castle, ese is taking part, lo cambiamos a el pasado de... Last, eh, pastor, to, took, 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 took part. Ok, excelente. Took part. Es como formó parte, ¿verdad? Took part, formó parte de the program Let's Save Nature. Ok. This program tries. Vea que ahí ese está en right. presente, ¿verdad? Presente simple, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a cambiarlo a this program tried. Pasado. To help both animals and plants in our countryside, beaches and mountains. Ok. So I'm just going to read the next two paragraphs and the, the, the exercise consists in that you have to change it into past tense, okay? So the next says, animals and plants are disappearing because we humans are not taking care of them. We are throwing a rubbish in the sea, on the streets and in the country. The animals are getting trapped in the plastic bags or getting ill because they, are, they eat plastic wrappers. Plants are dying because we are throwing chemicals and rubbish in the forest. Forest fires are also killing thousands of animals and plants. Our school is now helping. Uh, we are collecting rubbish from beaches in our city and telling people not to throw anything on them. We are also collecting used batteries and other dangerous materials. And you, what are you doing to help animals and plants? Are you littering the beaches in the country or are you putting your rubbish in the correct places? Please help animals, don't litter. Okay, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No, okay, so you're gonna work from paragraph two on and complete paragraph two and three. So I'm going to divide you in two breakout rooms. And we are going to have like five minutes to complete this. And then we will come back to the plenary to share what we did. And finally, we are going to have a look uh, of the final exam, okay? So let's create the room and please join. Okay, please accept the invitation and let us work.
the, in the past, the, the animal got, um, ah, sería, go to trap, go to trap, porque son dos verbos juntos, sería, go, the animals, got, got to trap, got trapped, got trapped. Got got trapped. trapped. Mm -hmm. So, solo primero cambia. Getting a gut. Gut trapped. Gut trapped. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the plastic bag. Or, or that, or, or that. Or that. Will because they, they eat plastic. Eight. Yes. The eight plastic. No, creo que aquí no es pasado porque no está en. They eat nada más porque dice eh, porque ellos comen plástico y wipers. No comieron, sino que sería eat plastic wipers. Mm -hmm. okay. there, there are some actions that you can keep in present. Hay algunas acciones que las pueden dejar en presente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero si lo quisieran cambiar es como they were sick, ellos se enfermaron, or they got sick, ellos se enfermaron because they ate plastic, porque ah. comieron plástico. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok. okay. They sí. ate in plastic. Excellent. See you in a minute. Lo veo. D -I -E -D. Ah, yeah. D-I-E-D. Okay. Eso quiere decir que no pronuncio bien. Ajá. Plants were died. ¿Cómo se la did? No. No, I'm died. I'm no, no creo. No. Hello. Died because we were throw. We were. Oh. Hello, may I help you? ¿Les puedo ayudar, chicos? Sí. Es que Adelante. En, lo, en los verbos que están eh, en continuo, en el pasado, no, no sé cómo. Por ejemplo, ese de throwing, okay. es, el presente es through y el, y el pasado sería through, eh, no sé cómo. Eh, sería, we were throwing a rubbish in the sea, porque cambiamos todo. Ajá, es, vimos, eh, we, we, um, We are, we were, ¿verdad? Throw. Ajá, ajá. Hasta Entonces ahí estamos podemos bien. dejarlo, estuvimos tirando o we throw, we ajá. threw. I mean, we, we threw, ajá, el que es el que habíamos puesto nosotros. Ajá, ajá. We, we threw. We it, were through. A rubbish in the sea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tiramos. Vale, y luego, uh -huh. tabal, y luego el getting, que yo le decía a Roberto que sería got. The animals got trapped. Los animales ajá. quedaron atrapados. We were got. Where got? Solo got. Ah, ya no iría, no pasamos el R no. al pasado. The animals got trapped. Los animales quedaron atrapados. Mm. Ajá. Vaya. Or eh, got. Or, ajá, got. Ajá. Because got in, they ate. They ate plastic wrappers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Plants and, aquí teníamos otra diferencia, es died. ¿Verdad? Died, sí, porque did es el pasado de do y died Ajá. es el pasado de die, morir. Entonces sí queda, plants were died. Died, solo died. Solo died, es que ahí me confundo. Plants. Entonces le quitamos el verbo to be sí. cuando hay un progresivo y lo paso y, y lo a hago pasado, pasado. A pasado simple, sí. O sea, los progresivos llevan to be y en pasado simple no. No, no. Uh -huh. Exacto. Bye. Ok. Because we were, because, entonces aquí otra vez, because we threw, threw chemical and rubbish in the forest. Uh -huh. Forest fires were also, y aquí sí, killed. 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 Yes. Killed. Thousands okay. of animals and plants. Uh -huh. Bye, Roberto. Excellent. Ok, my dears. Because of the time and because we need to complete the Final exam, I, uh, I just will give you a couple of minutes in order that you can finish. But I think that now it's going to be faster. Creo que van a ir más rápido, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> I'll give you a couple of minutes. 
Bye. Okay, I'm thank gonna you. stop sharing. Okay, Bye. see you in a minute. Hello, hello, welcome back. Hola, hola, bienvenidos. Uh, because of the time I had to start the practice, but I would like uh, to hear what did you find. Me gustaría escuchar qué encontraron, qué encontraron, and how did you solve, y cómo resolvieron. Okay, who wants to start with the paragraph number two? ¿Quién quiere trabajar el párrafo dos? Let's see. We had two groups, tuvimos dos grupos, así que vamos a ver. Who voluntarily would like to do it? Vamos a ver. It's difficult. I, I know, Claudita, but, but if you would like, I can help. Pero si le gustaría, yo les ayudo. Vamos a ver, ¿qué, ¿cómo lo hicieron ustedes? Ok, ok. Uh, animals and plants were... Uh, this party disappearing disappearing mm -hmm. we're disappearing mm -hmm. we're disappearing because because we humans didn't no didn't take care uh -huh. take care of them mm -hmm. we are we uh, a 12 we okay. are 12 we were okay well, we mm -hmm. were we were traveling. Ajá, adelante, Claudita. Siga, yo después les explico porque vamos a ver dos formas verbales. We were throwing, okay. ajá. Or rubbish in the sea. Sí, in the sea. In the sea, in the sea. Mm -hmm. On the street and the, in the country. Mm -hmm. The animals were getting. Were trapped, digamos, en ese caso. El, okay. were, o decimos okay. got trapped. That, what, that trap in the plastic bag or, or get. Uh -huh. the, or, or got ill. Or, or got ill because they eat, they, they ate, eat, they ate, 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 ate plastic wrappers. 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 And plants were this is not difficult dying dying because we are we were mm -hmm. throwing mm -hmm. chemicals and rubies mm -hmm. in the in the forest um fo forest fires are all were were all mm -hmm. killing mm -hmm. killing thousands of animals and plants Ok, thank you, my dear. Vean, eh, lo, que, lo que este equipo hizo, lo que Claudita hizo fue un pasado continuo, ¿sí? Un pasado continuo progresivo porque utilizó, eh, ellas sustituyeron el verb be en presente, lo sustituyeron por el verb be en pasado. Y es un tiempo verbal eh, correcto, ¿verdad? En el sentido de que me dice cosas que ocurrieron en el pasado, pero que todavía importan y tienen import, eh, relevancia en el presente. Eh, con el otro grupo lo estuvimos pasando totalmente a pasado, ¿verdad? 
y me gustaría pedirle a Lorenita, porque es interesante y dejé que Claudita lo, lo hiciera así, porque lo que Claudita hizo fue un pasado continuo o pasado progresivo, ¿sí? Ahora vamos a escuchar al equipo de Lorena hacerlo en pasado simple y vamos a ver cómo les quedó. Animals and plants were disappeared. No, animals, no, and, no. Plants, animals and plants disappeared mm -hmm. because uh, we humans not took care of them. Didn't, 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 didn't take care of them. Ah, no, pero lo pasamos a took. Ok. We humans took care of them. Pero perdimos el negativo entonces. Ah, ajá, entonces sería, si queremos mantener el negativo, sería didn't take care of didn't them. Take. Uh -huh. care of them. Uh -huh. Ok, we threw our rubbish in the sea, uh -huh. on the street and in the county. Uh -huh. The animals got trapped uh -huh. in the plastic bags or got in because they ate plastic wrappers. Uh -huh. Plants, eh, Were died because no, died, solo died. Ah. Las plantas murieron. Plants died because we threw chemical and rubbish in the forest. Forest fire were also killed. No, thousand sin, killed. Sin, el, sin el where, killed. And forest fire killed thousands of animals and plants. Excellent, very good. Ese mm. es un pasado, ¿verdad? Donde solo decimos pasó. Eh, hizo, eh, por ejemplo, los forest fires, los, los, los incendios mataron miles de animales. En cambio, Claudita dijo, eh, perdón, el equipo de, no sé si era Claudita, perdón. Sí, Claudita dijo, eh, los, los incendios forestales estuvieron matando. Es diferente, estuvieron matando a mataron, ¿verdad? ¿Se dan cuenta la diferencia? Estuvieron matando y mataron. Ok, animales y plantas. Entonces, eh, vean que ahí eh, se trabajó, eh, los dos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Uno trabajó el pasado progresivo y el otro trabajó pasado simple. Vamos a trabajar el último párrafo con pasado simple para que vean cómo nos quedaría. Our school, eh, wa, eh, dice, yes. helping. our school helped, ayudó, ¿verdad? Pasado. Eh, acá decimos... Eh, We collected rubbish from the beaches in our city and told people oh. not to throw anything, anything on them. We collect uh, used batteries and other dangerous materials. And you? What did you do to help animals and plants? Uh, did you litter the beaches in the country or did you put your rubbish in the correct places? Please help animals. Y ahí se lo dejamos don't litter, ¿verdad? Entonces vean que eh, está el pasado simple, que es el que hemos estado estudiando, y está el pasado progresivo, que ese no lo hemos estudiado, ¿verdad? Y es uno de los elementos que ustedes van a sin duda seguir estudiando in the next courses, en los próximos cursos, ¿verdad? So, eh, because of the time, I'm going to stop here and I will move to the exam, to the final exam so quickly. Eh, because I know that some of you already did it, but some of you haven't, okay? So basically what I'm going to explain is the structure. Vamos a explicar rápidamente la estructura. Eh, I won't, um, I won't uh, do the exam here because it's supposed that you will do it by yourself, but I just want to help by saying what is in each part of the, of the final exam and say that if you have any difficulty, you, you are free to, to write to me in a, a group or a privately in a chat and I can help you and I can, I, I can assist you in order that you can finish if possible by this Friday, okay? So the first part, are you watching my screen? ¿Están viendo mi pantalla, chicos? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay, in this case, what I recommend you to do is to expand the window and this will guide you to another pop-up uh, window that uh, you can uh, open and you can download the audio. I recommend you to download the audio 
and listen many, many times until you get the right answers. For example, in the first part, what we are evaluating is the ING, right? The WH questions with the ING. For example, where are Helen and Mark, and Mark going? Okay, so you have three different choices. Where is Smith department store? Okay. Uh, so WH questions in, uh, in, in evaluation. How do you get there, right? What is Mark going to buy? Okay, so in this case, WH question with the ING to express in this case a future situation, going to buy, comprar, que va a comprar. Okay, so remember that we evaluate listening because in order to have the full competence competency of a second language, you need to have uh, listening, you need to understand that language, you need to speak, that's why in this class I try that you speak the most. Then you have to read, that's why you read while you're solving the exercises, and then you have to write. That's why we have some forums for you to practice your writing and also answering the exam. Okay. In the part B, what we evaluate is uh, your competences for explaining where a place is located by following a picture of a map. In this case, it says the department store is. And remember that we stack the prepositions of place, across from, on, between, next to, on the corner of. In this case, what we are evaluating is that you know how to locate and a specific thing regarding to the others. In this case, case, they are asking about the department store and you have to locate Main Street, right? And it says that it's uh, across from Main Street, on Main Street, or between Main Street, or next to Main Street, or, or the, on the corner of. So you need to choose the best preposition that describes uh, the place it is, okay? So this is the Teacher. part, adelante. I'm sorry, in that, in that part, I want to advise you mm -hmm. that um, you can, uh, bueno, que realmente la, la dos y la tres están equivocadas. Están porque, equivocadas. Mm -hmm. Sí, porque la, o sea, si yo le busco realmente la ubicación en el mapa, no está correcta la respuesta. Entonces, que lo vean bien y que vean la opción que más se les pueda. Ok. So you have to choose the best option. Porque así a simple vista yo podría decirle que está on, ¿verdad? Está sobre Ajá. Main Street. Ajá. A ver, la uno le sale bien, pero la tres, the restaurant is. Entonces, las opciones que le da. Porque el restaurante no está cerca, no está cerca, no está entre, no está enfrente. Entonces, que lo vean bien. Porque ok. Me, y me, la Excelente. The Acá restaurant está. is, let me see, ya lo he expandido yo para verlo, pero no ubico el restaurante. Es este, el de ese, de Mario's, está a la par del banco. Mario's. Y está enfrente del teatro, sí, dice Sirva. Next ah, to ahí dice Mario's Mario Restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, y en las, opciones, en las opciones de respuesta no sale, o sea, no salen opciones reales porque dice el restaurante está, uh -huh. no sé qué, del, del, depar, del department store. Entonces no, no puede, ¿ves? A ver, está across, dice on, between, uh -huh. next to, on the corner of. Veamos otra vez. Voy, uh -huh. a, ver esa, voy a ir a ver el... el... El mapa. Ok. The department. Oops. En todo caso, sería across. No, no es, a, no es across. No. Tampoco. Next to, next to me salió a mí correcta. Se Ajá. Porque... Ok. Pero no está next to, porque en no, next to no. es City Bank. Okay. Por eso, es, está equivocada la pregunta con la respuesta. Sí. Igual la, la cuatro. En todo caso, tendría que haber sido eh, the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. Ajá, correcto. Ok, entonces, Igual la que sigue. entonces usted utilizó next to. Esa sí, fue la que sigue. To. Ok, ok, chicos, tomemos nota. Thank you, Lorena. Thank you for helping us. Ok, ok. Ok, let's continue. Vamos a ver la siguiente. 
in the letter C, you have to select, it says select the best answer. In this case, you already have the question. And then the question is, for example, were your, pa were your parents born in the US? Remember that when we use W, I mean, when we use verb B, like in number one, like in number, only number one, eh, you have a yes, no question. Cuando tenemos una pregunta con el verbo to be, necesariamente es una pregunta de sí y no, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí la que más se adapta es no, they weren't. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de your parents, ¿verdad? Eh, plural, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. From number two to number five, they are WH questions. Where did you grow up? Who was your first English teacher? When did you come to New York? Who was your first day in the US? And it's good that you have the same choices, ¿verdad? Tenemos las mismas opciones, so you can discard. For example, now you can discard, no, they weren't, my pa they weren't. This is not the answer. So when they say, where did you grow up? When they ask me where, they are asking for a place. So I look for a place and I said, mm, okay, grow up. Vea, entonces, eh, grow up, hace match con el pasado, grew up. I grew up in Tokyo, okay? So that's the logic of this exercise. Esa es la lógica, ¿verdad? De ese ejercicio. So let me go to next. And then you have to match the verbs to the nouns, okay? Uh, remember that in this case, um, we have the verb in this case in past, had, played, took, went, all of them are in past. So, in here, had a picnic, photos, tennis, a play, or swimming. What do you think is the best? Tuvimos o tuve. Maybe the most, the, the logic one is a picnic, right? A, had a picnic. Tuvimos eh, un día de campo. Played. What do we play? We need to look for a sport. In this case, the only one sport is tennis, right? Because I cannot say played a played. In, in, every, in, in all cases, is I played a game, but not played tennis, right? I mean, not played a play. In this case, it's tennis, okay? So that's the logic of this exercise. And letter E, in letter E you have to complete the conversation. So let me just move this here. Okay, in letter E you have to complete the conversation. Um, you have And you have to select the correct form of the verb B. Remember that for verb B we have was and we have where. But also we have other uh, cases in which we use the auxiliary did, okay? A good weekend, okay? So you have, no, because it's a question, so it means that I need to start with an auxiliary, okay? Did you have, no, because if I use did, the verb needs to be in present. So that's why the option number one is not the correct one. So you have to use did, Plus the verb in present. Did you have a good weekend? Okay. So you need to be careful on the logic of what they're asking for and the way you properly answer. And the letter F, it's read an article and complete the sentences. Home alone. Okay. In this case, you need to, lead, to read all this article and try to answer to the next question. Why did Jerry go to the basement? Where did Jerry sleep? Why did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? And you have the possible choices. So this is a reading and comprehension. So you need to read one, two, three, and four paragraphs and try to find the possible answer. So let's do, uh, for example, number one. Why did Jerry go to the basement? So it says, Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went, went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do the laundry. Okay, so here, in the first case, it's clearly that the reason why did Jerry go to the basement is to, to talk to his neighbors, to play Nintendo, or to do the laundry. What do you think? 
it says to do the laundry, okay? To do the laundry. To do the laundry. So that's the reason why he came or he go to the basement. Okay, so you need to continue reading the paragraph in order to give the right answer to the questions. And that's it. We're finished. We're finished the, the final exam, okay? So do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? Remember that if you have any difficulty, you can contact me. Si tienen alguna dificultad, por supuesto, me pueden contactar, ¿verdad? En el chat, en el WhatsApp, or directly, o directamente. But I please, uh, I will appreciate that you can finish this by tomorrow, ¿verdad? Agradeceremos mucho eh, que quienes no lo han terminado, lo puedan terminar para el día de mañana, ¿verdad? I highly recommend you to download your um, diploma and save it in PDF. And if you can print it, it's going to be okay. Guardar su diploma en PDF y si lo puede imprimir, pues eso sería excelente, ¿verdad? And please complete the uh, paperwork in order to be enrolled in the next level. Y completemos, ¿verdad? La papelería para podernos inscribir en el siguiente eh, módulo, ¿ok? Okay, my dears, if you don't have extra questions because of your time, and I know it's time for you to go to sleep, uh, I want to say thank you for, for being here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your interest to continue learning English. And I encourage you to continue because English opened many doors. So I highly recommend you, okay? Ah, thank you. Thank you, Lorenita. I like that. I appreciate that detail from you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you too. Bueno, nice to meet bien. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you to you too, because I know it's not easy coming so late to study, but it means that you have a high interest to continue learning English, okay? So I appreciate that, and I expect to honor your effort by uh, trying that you learn the best, okay? The best as, as we can. Thank you, teacher. Thank God you. Okay, thank you. God well, bless you, I everyone. See you la later. Yes, I hope to see you later, okay? Remember that you can still contact me if you need. I, I'm going to serve you here, okay? Okay, thank okay. you. See you, my nice dear, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Be safe.